Greetings, tankers! My name is Adam Snellgrove, and welcome to the 17th season of the show you know and love, Best Replays, in which you provide the replays and we come up with the goodies. So hit that like button, subscribe if you wish, and click the bell icon to never miss an episode. And let's get straight into it! Let us begin with another Tortoise replay, which must be a favourite tank of yours, judging by the amount of replays we keep getting. However, after just 40 seconds, Captain Moi Moi Twelve Finn decides to turn their ship around and set up Overwatch on a flank that needs it the most here on Corellia. And what do you know? No sooner than Moi Moi Twelve finds a nice spot, the enemies are already making a breakthrough. Another victim, uh, I mean volunteer. Step right up, Mr. VK. But while all this has been going on, the team performance could be described as less than stellar. So the weakened flank now becomes the only flank the green team still holds. Well, this is GG. Go next. Now that is six kills in just 30 seconds. The fastest top gun I've ever seen. However, Moi Moi 12 Finn is not about to stop there. There's an ominous smell in the air and it's not the grilled turkey, pickled cheese and mayo sandwich I had for lunch. But instead, the smell of victory. you go and with the enemy e75 on just 88 hp it's in no position to help out the lone 50 tp attempting to cap yeah that wasn't much of a challenge wait what the e75 is attempting to run away oh how the turns have tabled not getting away with that one, buddy. However, besides a tortoise, we do happen to have an elephant in the room, which happens to be the opposing T-30, a tank destroyer that has not been seen the entire match, perhaps due to technical difficulties. And despite the Rolls-Royce engine doing its best, reaching the cap is going to be a challenge. Just about... Oh, wait! There's the T-30! And it is indeed AFK. If you listen closely, you can hear the om nom 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 sounds of free damage. And that's GG. A fantastic one-man carry by Moi Moi 12 Finn demolishing the hopes and dreams of seven enemies in just one minute. Scoring that all-important pools medal along with 8,170 damage, 11 kills and 2,055 base experience. Great way to break the ice in this new season of best replays. 2,000 gold and our style go to you, Moi Moi 12 Finn. Well done. we've got Triss manning the commander's position in this all camoed up Skoda T-56 heavy tank. A two-shot autoloader capable of dealing 920 damage with a two-shell burst while sporting really solid turret armor. And uh, less than solid side armor when you expose it to a Scorpion G like that. 
so, with the Scorpion still lurking in the far back, and no enemies willing to commit to a push, Chris will have to sit tight for a bit. But not for long, the enemies have broken through the far side of the lighthouse. A crucial position, allowing them to outflank every ally in the middle of the map. Chris, realizing the danger, takes up this little ledge right here, providing good cover and perfect overview. Ooh, the turret might be strong, but the cupola is definitely not impenetrable. Yeah, get out of here. This flank is secured. Now it's back to the usual grind. An interesting play there by the K91, stopping in the middle of the open. I wonder how that will work out. Yeah, it didn't. But with the base nearly captured and every tank on the map converging to it, it's time for what I like to call the Scrap. For the cap! Uh oh! One full HP SDI coming right up! like them apples. Up now we're down to just one single AP shell and both Chris and the 430 are one shot for each other. A mistake by the 430 and Chris does not miss. It's a GG. An epic replay combined with an epic medal. Fadin's medal for the final enemy tank destroyed with a final shell in the magazine. Chris scored 9,065 damage and a record breaking 2,488 base experience alongside 8 kills. A great ending to a game that finds itself on the second place on our list, netting Chris 2,500 gold and our star. Congratulations! We've got a rolling bunker, a heavyweight among paperweights, the one true chunkers in world of tanks, a tank with its own gravity field. These jokes do write themselves when you've got a Type 5 heavy tank as the hero, with Omnia Liviu at the controls going beach on Overlord. Is this some kind of new meta? Or are we about to start one? Anyway, it's a Type 5 in a tight corridor with a boomstick of a cannon. What's the worst that could happen? Uh-oh, that seems like a lot more than Omni Olivia bargained for. Yep, some help would be much appreciated. Ah, friendos, the backup has arrived. But with most of the 3,350 HP gone, Omnia you can't just recklessly take trades anymore. is 
getting so intense. That's one less enemy tank, but the allies are not faring much better. Come with me if you want to live. Guess it didn't want to live. Neither did this Panzerkampfwagen 7, by the looks of it. Scorpion? Wait, who are you now? Well, doesn't matter. Get wrecked. That is now 9,440 damage dealt, along with 5,570 blocked for Omni Aleviu. And all the allies are gone. Four enemies remaining while we're stuck on the sands of Overlord. Well, uh... Whoa, who do you think you are? A medium tank? No, damn you, H.G. Nerf! Such wretched luck as both Omni Aleviu and the E75 take each other out at the same time. So unlucky, so close to an epic win for it to be taken away. You've got the feel for Omni Aleviu, losing the game with 11,424 damage dealt and 7,800 blocked. Did everything right, but just got on the bad side of the mighty RN Jesus at the very end. But as a consolation prize, we award this replay with the title of our best replay of the week. 3,000 gold and the best tourist style of them all. Proudly wear it on your Type 5 alongside that third gun mark on the Aleviu. And thus, our little show comes to an end. We've seen some absolutely thrilling replays, every single one special in their own way. But I'm sure there's going to be at least one or two of you in the comments disagreeing with us. And we do appreciate that. Everyone has a different taste. Just like those who like pineapple on pizza. We politely block those on all social media. But I digress. Send us your replays as always and we'll be back next week with more Tank on Tank action. Finally, I'm Adam Snowgrove and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Come with me. <laughs> Sorry.